Hello there, my beautiful internet friends. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me here today. I wanted to talk about something that really gets under my skin, but I think a lot of people ascribe to, so it's not my intention to offend or frustrate anyone here. I'm just expressing my own opinions on positive thinking here. If you've watched my channel for an extended period of time, you know that I don't love the cult of positive thinking. And what I mean by that is not trying to think positive, not trying to have a healthy mindset, not you know addressing the things in your life that need to be addressed. I'm a big fan of all of that, but it's being positive all the time and everything has to be positive. It starts labeling human emotions like sadness and anger as a negative and oh, I just don't think negative. I just don't get sad because I'm, I think positively. When those things are not at all related, it's very human to experience anger and sadness and all of the variety of emotions. And yes, there are healthy ways to do that and less healthy ways to do that. But I think that the cult of positive thinking has gotten to an all-time high and a dangerous place when it claims that it can save you from actual viruses that are killing people. <sighs> I have seen videos and comments and posts and emails promoting this idea that positive thinking is going to make you well, that if you just don't accept sickness into your life, you're not gonna get sick. And I'll be honest with you, this is a very familiar way of thinking for me for two reasons. First of all, because I know all about the cult of positive thinking. I've been in it for a while myself until I got out of it. And secondly, it sounds a lot like the uh, evangelical Christian healing culture I used to be a part of. Believe you're not gonna be sick and God's gonna heal you, that sort of thing. I think that this sort of thinking, perhaps it helps some people and I'm glad for that, but it also can be very, very dangerous when you believe that's gonna save you and you don't take precautions and then you make fun of people who do. As we dive into this, I do want to note that I think that trying to keep panic at bay and not you know, dive into fear mongering or anything like that is a very, very very good idea. There's a lot of misinformation going around. There are people who are responding to what's happening in the world right now with the coronavirus or COVID-19 by indulging in a lot of fear, which leads to unhealthy behaviors like hoarding and hurting other people to make sure you feel safer. And that's not cool. It's good to follow basic precautions. But for instance, I just got done watching a video from a lady uh, talking about how she doesn't choose to exist in the same realm as this virus, therefore she is gonna be fine and you could be fine too if only you adhered to this positive thinking and didn't let negative thoughts in your brain or your psyche and just choose to exist in a place where this doesn't exist. Now, for the record, I would love to choose to exist in that realm, but that's not the realm that we actually live in. We live on planet Earth. People are susceptible to illness. You can carry it to people who uh, get ill a lot easier than you do. I've seen email strings going around with positive affirmations that are gonna save your life or help you not get sick. And having a healthier mindset, having a more positive way of thinking is shown to boost your immune system. However, that's not going to save you. There seem to be a lot of people, especially in privileged spaces, denying the reality that we're living in or suggesting that you can deny it if only you think differently. But I wanted to share some words from a friend of mine whose husband is an ER doctor. He is literally on the front lines dealing with this at a high risk of being exposed. If anyone doesn't believe the threat is real, it doesn't matter, reality doesn't change, and I have to agree with that. If you think positive thinking will save you from getting sick or if you haven't gotten sick in a while and you attribute that to your mindset, good for you. I'm glad that you seem to be in a good mental space but that doesn't change the position other people are in. It is a very, very privileged way of thinking because people who have immunocompromised systems or who get sick often or have things going on with them or are older can't just choose not to get sick like you think you're choosing not to get sick. Getting ill is not a choice. My little puppy here decided to uh, pay us a visit. Yes, there are absolutely things you can do that boost your immune system. There are healthy practices. Having a good mental state, taking care of your mental health, is a part of that, but suggesting that if someone gets it, it's their fault because they're thinking negatively or they're letting it into their life is, like I said, really privileged and really damaging and a lot of shame mongering and just, it's just really gross to me. Please don't do that. Like I talked about in my video where I talked about getting tested for the coronavirus, the whole point of taking precautions is not just for you, it's for people who can't defend well against new viruses or sickness in general. One of the purposes of these precautions is to allow our medical professionals the time, energy, and supplies to be able to take care of everyone who is getting ill and 
who is going to get ill. It's not just about you. That's unfortunately a mindset that I have seen going around. Like people don't believe that they're, they don't believe they're at risk. They don't get sick, they're healthy. So they're just gonna keep doing their normal things and not care about the precautions and the recommendations that are put in place. But it's not about you. It's not just about you, it is in part, but it's about our society as a whole. It's really important not to be selfish in this time and to take care of each other as a society, your neighbors, your family, your friends, strangers, everyone at large, our country, our world. If positive thinking is something that has been beneficial to you, if affirmations have been beneficial to you, I think that's fantastic. I think there's probably some you know, science behind that. I don't know. Uh, but please don't use your mindset and your lack of getting sick as a reason to shame others or a reason to think that you are above what is happening because you're not. I'm not. No one is. Thanks for listening, guys. I hope you are staying happy and healthy and safe. Uh, I am inside my house. I've been here for days. I will continue to be here with my puppies and my husband. It's easy to get a little stir crazy, but that's why we have a backyard. And I do have a lot of practice in this from being home for months on end after surgery. So if you are interested in how to stay sane at home during social distancing and quarantine, let me know. I may do a video about that. But like I said, I appreciate you guys listening to this. I would love to hear your thoughts and reactions down below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Am I being insensitive? Am I being overly sensitive? Let me know your thoughts. Thanks guys. Thanks to my patrons who make these videos possible. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Also, uh, and if you made it this far in the video, you may have deduced this, but I am feeling much better. I rested all weekend and uh, my voice is still a little off. I'm still a little tired, but I'm feeling much better. So yay. Uh, thanks for all your well wishes, everybody. I love you guys. I'm thinking about you and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> that was my dog's cue to all start running. Okay, cool. <laughs> Bye guys.